Hi there, and welcome to Tina's Tips. Today's tip is all about those pesky pests. Like this one. So this little guy, if you find one of them in your bedroom at night when you're trying to sleep, can keep you up most of the night. So mosquitoes are not one of my favorite things to have buzzing around my head at night. So how do we get rid of mosquitoes? In our house, what we do is we take lemongrass and lavender and diffuse it. So we'll diffuse it in the bedroom or we'll diffuse it in and around some of the doorways that might be open for our dog to get in and out. Um, or you can use the Terra Shield. So a Terra Shield you can put on your person, on your pet, on your clothes, etc. cetera. Um, you can also diffuse that if you prefer that scent over the lavender and lemongrass. But lavender is very relaxing, um, and so it's also good for sleep. So you get a dual purpose there when you diffuse the lavender and the lemongrass. So, pest control. Ants do not like peppermint. So peppermint and water mixed into a basically a squirt bottle or something um, is basically your ant repellent. Um, any aphids, peppermint, sandalwood, white fur. Beetles is peppermint and thyme. Uh, caterpillars is gonna be peppermint as well. Sugars, lavender, lemongrass, and thyme. Any of those three work well. Uh, cutworms will be thyme. Fleas is lavender, lemongrass, and peppermint. Again, for any of these, you do not have to use all of them listed. These are just options depending on what you have available. Flies, you have your choice of basil, clove, eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, and rosemary. Gnats, get out your patchouli. Mosquitoes, like I said, lavender and lemongrass. Mice is going to be peppermint. Moths, it's lavender and peppermint. Plant lice is going to be peppermint. Roaches is going to be eucalyptus. Scorpions, here in Arizona, you need your lavender. Slugs, white fur. Snails are going to be patchouli and white fur. And spiders are going to be peppermint again. Ticks is lavender, lemongrass, and thyme. And those are going to be patchouli and sandalwood. So you can see peppermint Lavender and lemongrass are big on this list, especially the peppermint. So peppermint is one that you get in your annual renewal uh, with doTERRA. So every time you renew your membership, you get a free peppermint. So you should have one of those handy. Diffusing. So like this bracelet that I have on, it has the lava rocks. And the bracelet shown here has lava rocks as well. And you can put the lavender, lemongrass, and peppermint on those lava rock beads and have it on your person, as well as, like we said, using the Terra Shield to spray on your clothes or on your person. And I mentioned diffusing in our bedroom, so this is just a picture of a typical diffuser. Um, the next diffusing types that we have is getting a little bit more creative, so using a tea ball or a tea strainer upside down, use it right side up I guess, but upside down in the tray that it comes in. This is an office piece that has the metal mesh so it can diffuse as well. If I fill it with lava rocks or if I put in a cotton ball or a cotton pad with the scents that we're looking for to keep things away, you can use this on your um, table outside when you're entertaining or having food outside and you want to make sure that you don't have the bugs to go with it. So instead of using like a citronella candle or something like that, you could fill this with lava rocks or fill this with lava rocks or cotton balls. Whatever you have like that, that basically you put the oils on those to maintain the scent while you're trying to eat without the flies or without the other kind of uh, guests that weren't invited. You, you can get even more creative and use sand or um, other materials that's around your house that you can put your oils into. Make sure they're not plastic or foam. They need to be metal or they need to be glass or ceramic, uh, stainless steel, etc. Well, thanks for being with us. Enjoy.